things to him and how the father felt seeing his son in that, that state, how it grieved him, how it really moved him. But he did it because he loved us that much. That's the truth. That's the story. On this Good Friday, sacrifice something for him because he sacrificed everything for you. And on Sunday, celebrate. Celebrate. Do an Easter egg hunt. Thank God. Help somebody. Love somebody. Give your life to them. Devote more time and resources and energy. Stop being an Eeyore. And open up your life. Open up your heart to him. And believe me, he'll use you in a positive way. And by doing it, you'll help yourself get stronger and better. And you'll have much more purpose to your life. I've seen this again and again and again. God does that mysteriously. We're his arms. We're his feet. You've heard that, right? We're, our, we're, we're, we're his body on earth. He works that way. You know what they say? God works in mysterious ways. Well, he does. And that's how he does it. Why he does it that way, I, I'll never understand. But he does. He uses fallen men and women, young boys and girls, to do these these service services. And um, I thank God that uh, there are willing men and women to will do these things. And folks, it's not the government stepping in after the the, uh, the you know the storms come. It's the, the local the local church. It's the local Christian community. It's the, those that have opened their hearts and their lives to God that are able to love on people and do it all year round, not just when things hit the fan, so to speak. There's good people out there that do this in season and out of season. You know, and it's nice to be consistent. And I thank God because you're going to want somebody that's consistent when you need help. You know, things can change on a dime, you know, where you say, well, I'm not handicapped. You could be in a wheelchair, hit by a car tomorrow. A uh, guy I work with, he was out with this girl in Atlanta. A guy came barreling down, wasn't watching where he was going. And uh, brain damage, and uh, he's gotten all sorts of issues. Never thought in a million years it ha- could happen to anybody. Accidents, freak accidents happen all the time. Life can change on a dime, but the kindness of strangers sometimes will just befall you. You will not understand it. And it's God's way to bring us to him. And sometimes tragedies bring us closer to his feet. I don't know what it is. Sometimes in good times, people don't think they need God. But sometimes in the bad times where you seek him out and you're thankful for it, it's like, why didn't I just consult you a long time ago? It would have been a lot easier because we're selfish. And that's the fallen state of the world, selfishness. And we see that everywhere. We see that in politics. We see that, yes, in religion. We see that in households across the country where people are just about themselves and nobody else. But if we're more concerned about others, the general welfare, seriously, of others around us, things will be so much nicer. You want to talk about community organization and organizing and doing something? Do those particulars? I'm telling you, we won't have the issues. We'll be more on guard when we have wolves in sheep's clothing that want to do bad things in our neighborhoods, in our schools, in our communities. Because we're actually invested in the community, invested in other people instead of ourselves. We need to get out of our our fence backyards, put them in huge fences where nobody can see us. A lot of people do that, and they lock everybody out. Don't invite anybody. Got that huge pool, and they don't let anybody in. You know what I'm talking about. It's just not inviting. It's perplexing. But we have to be giving, folks, and we have to have a giver's heart. we got to change our hearts, and there's only one guy that can do that. That's J.C. on this Good Friday, Jesus Christ, respectively, that paid all. Left heaven and came to earth and died and went to hell for us and rose again victoriously on Sunday, and that's a beautiful thing. If this broadcast was beneficial to you, I seriously would like to hear from you at ForThePeopleShow.com, that's our website, or at For the People Show on Facebook or hashtag Talk to Keith Allen, but definitely would like to hear from you, America, or anywhere on this planet of ours. 
Remember, we're listener-supported. Your donations do make a difference. Thank you so much. Keith Allen, for the people, saying all the best. May God bless.